What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Kamaru Usman versus Jorge Masvidal 2, which is a five rounder for the undisputed UFC Welterweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, April 24th, from the V Star Veterans Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN Plus pay per view. And in this fight, Kamaru Usman proved why he is the pound for pound best UFC fighter in the world as he destroys Jorge Masvidal in two rounds, knocking him out cold. Um, like many people did not expect, he was able to knock Masvidal out cold. Many people either thought it was going to be a submission or maybe even a wide decision. I wasn't seeing a lot of picks for Kamaru Usman but via knockout. Many people either thought it was Masvidal KO or uh, Usman decision or something like that. Nobody thought that Usman was able to knock Masvidal out, but he did, and he did it in destructive fashion. But just to get into the fight, in that first round, Kamaru Usman dominated as he was able to land some great right hands that backed up Jorge Masvidal, and then, then he was also able to take Masvidal down and control him on the ground throughout the majority of that round, and that's why he clearly won the first round. And he was able to land some good shots, some good elbows um, on the ground in full guard. But then in that second round, um, he was starting to back Masvidal up. Then he lands a monster of a right hand that sends Jorge Masvidal out cold on the ground. And then he lands some beautiful ground and pound shots while Masvidal was out. And referee Herb Dean had to stop the fight. And just wow, what a shot that was that knocked Masvidal out as he was out cold when he was going down. Just one beautiful right hand sent him down and sent him out. He fell like a sack of potatoes. I was not expecting this. I thought that Usman was going to win another boring, unanimous decision similar to the first fight where he was just sort of engaging in the clinch, taking Masvidal down, like sort of just stomping on his feet, landing some good shots in the clinch, throwing his shoulder and stuff like that. But um, I did not expect Kamaru Usman to land a vicious right hand that would knock Masvidal out. I thought it, that it could have been the other way around, but not as much. So what is next for Kamaru Usman? I'm actually not too sure because this was the biggest fight that he could have gotten. And he paid off and was able to knock Jorge Masvidal out in two rounds. I saw Colby Covington in the crowd. He was calling um, um, Kamaru Usman out. And I would still love to see... Um, them rematch, and I think that might be next because Kobe Covington is coming off some good victories. Kamaru Usman obviously is coming off those wins over Jorge Masvidal in their first fight. Now Jorge Masvidal via knockout in their second fight, and that knockout win over Gilbert Burns. But um, yeah, I think the next fight is most likely going to be a Covington rematch. But what is next for Jorge Masvidal? I believe he's in his like late thirties. He's been fighting for years, even in the streets. Uh, he's been boxing, training his whole career, um, fighting in mixed martial arts. I um, mean, he has a great background and stuff like that. But um, I'm not really too sure, honestly. I, I don't think the UFC is going to cut him or anything like that. I'm not sure if he's going to retire because he's still a very, very good and well-skilled, powerful fighter. But um, I'm just not really too sure what's next for him. So overall, Kamaru Usman destroys Jorge Masvidal to defend his UFC welterweight world title, and to show why he's one of the best fighters in the world. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.